name's Stephen Webb and I'm general manager of the dockyard. I've been here since we opened, uh, 13th of December last year, so we're almost a year old. Started off just as a bartender, uh, worked my way up to be general manager. Uh, Monday mornings is sort of an office day for me, it's working out payroll for everyone, uh, all the ordering of the stock, um, making sure everything's in shape for the week really, and then as the days go on it's more about keeping an eye on the floor and making sure everyone's happy. I was bartending for about seven months, so end of July. Um, I'd already been doing a few bits and bobs like managerially, uh, but then finally the, like a position came up. I, I first became assistant manager and then uh, when the gap opened I got promoted to general manager. With the ales we try and keep um, a variation on it all the time. Sort of every two to three months we'll change the backboard. Uh, we've got seven guest ales on all the time and then our front cask ales as well. Um, we've had a few that have uh, bombed because of the way they look or taste. It's a combination, you need, you need good branding and you need a good ale. Uh, that's what we're looking for at the minute. People like Shindigger, Seven Brothers have got both tied down nicely so they sell well. Uh, other stuff like Swallow's Nest. <laughs> it's nose dived. I Rock the Dot came about because um, BBC Radio 6, uh, Mark Riley who works for them, wanted to host a music event. They used to hold it on the 7th, which is a bar just next door. Um, they wanted to bring it in here, obviously, because we're a new bar and we fit the mould of and Rock the Dock rhymes better. Um, it, so he handpicks three acts every month and then we just provide the PA system and the uh, staging for them. I'm looking to organise a monthly night to go alongside Rock the Dock. Um, on the 27th of November we're going to have uh, a few acts in and if that goes well then hopefully that'll be something we can look forward to sort of every month. Uh, we just won Pub of the Year at Manchester Food and Drink Festival. Uh, we've not even been open a year so it's quite the achievement. Um, I'm hoping just for a sustainable sort of quality that we're sort of getting now, but Christmas will be huge this year. If I could change anything about the dockyard, it'd probably be uh, a few aesthetic problems. I'd have the fire working properly. It was supposed to be like a nice open fire. Uh, it looked like a Bunsen burner when it was on and people were putting the coats on it, so it was a bit of a nightmare. But um, aside from that, I've got, I've got a great team here, a great selection of beers and stuff. The food's great. I wouldn't change too much, to be honest. Uh.